subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can update the ios of your ipad using itunes so let's begin the video first of all uh, there are some things that you're going to require for this process uh, the first thing would be that you need any kind of uh, uh, laptop or PC. You can have either Apple MacBook laptop or a Windows PC. The process will be same in both the cases. The second thing we would be obviously your iPad on which you want to update the iOS. The third thing would be any cable that will connect one end to your laptop and the other end to your iPad. And the fourth thing would be a strong internet connection because if you have a weak internet connection then the process will take long because the software will be, down, will be downloaded at a longer time. Anyways these are some of the things that you are going to require for this process. So I am using a Windows PC, uh, Windows laptop if you have a Macbook the process is still the same. So let's move towards the laptop. So here I am on my Windows PC first of all you are going to open any of the browsers available so you're going to go to this page support.apple.com forward slash downloads forward slash itunes so i will put this website's link in this video description as well so you can simply go there and click there and this website will open up so here you can see we have uh, I, itunes available here you can see the latest version for itunes is I, itunes 12.10.10 for windows if you have a 64-bit operating system, if you have a 32-bit of Windows, then you're going to install that. And if you have MacBook uh, for Mac, then you're going to install from one of these. So before you're going to begin the process, you need to make sure that you have the latest version of iTunes installed on your laptop or PC, either if you're on Windows or Mac. So I have already downloaded the latest version for Windows PC, that is uh, iTunes 12.10.10 so i'm going to install it on my windows pc if you have any previous version of itunes on your pc first of all you need to uninstall it anyways here is the setup all you're going to do is to double press on it and it will open up by itself okay preparing to install you're going to press on next you're going to see the location where it's going to be installed next and now it's just simply going to install so installing itunes is pretty simple again for in order to update the ios of your ipad you need to make sure that the latest version of itunes is installed on your pc that's why i am installing the latest version on this laptop that i just downloaded from the apple's official website so here we have congratulations itunes have been successfully installed on your computer open itunes after the installer exi exits finish and now it will automatically i open itunes on our pc so here it is itunes so now what we are going to do is that we are going to connect our ipad to this particular laptop using the lightning cable so here is one end of the lightning cable that is going to be connected to the laptop in which we install itunes and the other end will be connected to our ipad as you can see right now and here you can see unlock ipad to use accessories so we are going to unlock it i'm going to enter the password and once i enter the passcode you can see that on the ipad screen as well as on the uh, windows pc screen we're going getting to message boxes so here on your ipad you're going to press on trust again it's going to uh, pass for the uh, screen lock password for this particular ipad i'm going to type it again and now here on the laptop you're going to press on the continue button so for the first time it might not work so all you need to do is to unplug the lightning cable or the usb cable from your laptop and you're going to replug it again and now you're going to see this small icon right here here you can see omar's ipad so we're going to press from continue here so it's going to sync your ipad we are going to press on get started but if it is still not showing then all you need to do is to unplug the usb cable again you're going to replug it so here you're going to see a little ipad icon on the top left side after replugging it and here you can see uh, ipad 14.33 and it's going to say check for update so we're going to press on check for update to see if any ios update is available for this particular ipad so each ipad or any apple device have different 
limits for latest iPad download maybe this particular one can go maximum to like I would say iOS 14.67 etc and after that it won't update so you can see a new uh, iPad software version 14.4 is available for the iPad would you like to download it and update it now so it's saying that iOS 14.4 is available so we are going to first press on download only so now it's going to contact the iPad software update server uh, again uh, now this process will mainly depend on your internet connection if you have a good internet connection then it will download the iOS fast if you have a poor connection then it will take a lot of time so a pop-up will show that iOS 14.4 includes this features we are going to press on next you need to agree the license of course and we are going to press on agree so now here you can see iTunes is downloading a software update for this iPad now in this case I wouldn't recommend you to unplug your iPad from this particular PC so we are just going to wait until the download is complete and here on the top right we got this little box here if I press on it it's showing that the update is around 4.3 GB and 3.5 MB has been downloaded and it's showing that uh, 6 hours are remaining so again the time remaining will mainly depend on the strength of your internet connection so I'm going to fast forward the video from here until the download is completed so now once your download has been completed you're going to press on this update button on your iTunes and it's going to start updating your iPad again you need to have an internet connection as well so we're going to have a pop-up box saying iTunes will update your iPad to iOS 14.4 and will verify the update with Apple. So we're going to press on update. So now we're going to enter the lock screen passcode for our iPad. And after entering my lock screen passcode on the iPad, it's now extracting the software. So during this process, uh, if you're going to encounter any kind of error, like if you're going to have any message box saying that this error occurred and your ipad couldn't be updated then most probably the it, the reason is that your itunes software is not to its most latest version so you need to first make sure that your itunes is at its latest version uh, so if you don't know how you can do that then simply you're going to press on the help tab and here you can see it says check for updates so you're going to press on check for updates and it will show you if a new update is available for the iTunes software or not so you need to make sure that the iTunes is at its latest version in order to prevent any kind of error messages boxes popping up so now it's backing up my iPad again the speed depends on how much data you have on your iPad so it's waiting for iPad so during this process your PC will make noises that the iPad is being disconnected then reconnected and disconnected and the Apple logo will be shown on your iPad screen so during this process you need to do nothing like literally nothing you don't need to unplug the cable replug it or do anything all the process will be done by itself so you just need to sit back and see it uh, it will make different noises on your PC that it is being disconnected and connected but everything will work fine and an installation bar will be shown on your iPad that it is being worked so during this process if you see a message box saying that an unknown error occurred like error 4000 and that will prevent you from updating your iPad then I have made a video on that as well you should definitely check it out uh, it's the process is really simple to solve it but uh, I had a little problem while doing it so I made a video on that as well uh, its box will appear right up and I will also put its link just below the like button so you can watch that video as well if you are facing the problem with an unknown error 4000 during this updation process so it's going to update the iPad again you don't need to disconnect internet and you just need to wait until the update is complete so I'm just going to fast forward the video from here until the update is completed so now we got a message box that our iPad has been updated and now here on our ipad we also got our apple logo and now our ipad is rebooting again now again you're going to have a second loading bar just below the apple logo on your ipad screen so again we need to wait for some time until it is completed 
so now the update has been completed and if i again press on this ipad logo on the top left you can see your ipad software is up to date itunes will automatically this and the ipad os is 14.4 whereas previously it was 14.3 so we have successfully updated the ios of our ipad using itunes so guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below and i have already made a video on how you can update the ios of your iphone using itunes if you are interested in that video then a box should appear here right now and its link will also be just below the like button so that's all for this video thank you for watching and stay safe